Can we talk about my hole for a second? <laughs> Nia Jax went through a lot, man. Nia Jax was, was making the whole joke. Uh, Nia Jax is doing TikToks, a little bit embarrassing herself. Went out of the company, went into the company. She was having bajillion interviews where she was saying, when I asked Triple H, should I come back? Is there a place for me? Triple H said, of course there is a place for you. And what is your place? I think your place is uh, to lose against anyone. Even though a couple months ago she won again Becky Lynch. And I thought that this is the time for Nia Jax. I thought that this is the time we're gonna use Nia Jax as the beast she is to dominate. But of course we're having Mami. Mami is always on top and Rhea Ripley is young. Rhea Ripley is just an entertainer, she's a beast, and I understand why we're not pushing her out of the picture, but Nia Jax just lost Rhea Ripley, which means that what is Nia Jax gonna do now, honestly? The only thing that I think can happen is maybe she's gonna feud with Bianca. No, 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 listen, 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 stop shouting. Maybe she's gonna feud with Bianca because Bianca wants to be in the WrestleMania, right? But who else wants to be in WrestleMania? Everyone, right? But Nia Jax has the legitimacy to be there. I don't know. Or maybe not. I, I Honestly, I don't know what is happening with Nia Jax. I don't know what's gonna be next for her. Maybe it's not gonna be anything big. Maybe Raquel Rodriguez is gonna be like, Nia Jax, you took me out. I don't know if Nia Jax took her out. I mean, maybe should make a research about that, but let's say that Nia Jax took her out. Okay, Rodriguez is gonna be like, Nia Jax, I know you took me out. You took uh, eight years of my career, and now I'm gonna put your ass to sleep. And um, yeah, we're, it's, it's gonna be actually kind of interesting to see Raquel Rodriguez versus Nia Jax, I'm not gonna lie. Bianca Belair versus Nia Jax is gonna be good as well, but yeah. At WrestleMania, one thing is for sure, Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. This is set in stone. Unfortunately, Bianca Belair is not in the title picture, Liv Morgan is not in the title picture, Naomi is not in the title picture, Nia Jax is not in the title picture. All these women with great potentials, great returns, they're not in the title picture. But they should not be as well. Most of these women had a decent promo, they should not have been in the title picture. But Check one thing, guys. Check one thing. Charlotte Flair was injured a couple months ago. Uh, I think something around no, where her knee, her knee is stored. And if you're following her everywhere, she's trying to recover. And she's super close to being 100% right now. And I think she's cooking something for WrestleMania. Listen about that. So one of these women is probably going to go against Charlotte Flair, which is going to be fire. And I don't know if it's going to be Bianca Belair, I don't know if it's going to be Jade Cargill, Nia Jax, but Charlotte Flair is that kind of star who can make one person go immortal. Immortal is the word I'm, I was searching for. So I think that either Jade Cargill or Bianca Belair should be the person, but Nia Jax is another good option. It would be a shame Nia Jax to be on the sidelines for WrestleMania. Because for the past few months, Nia Jax was always on TV. Nia Jax was always was there. And don't get me wrong, I hate the finisher of Nia Jax. In fact, Nia Jax, I know that you're watching my video. You should change your finish. Because this finish is not cool. Not cool at all. Not great. Not even hype. Not even bad. It's just super meh and bad. Change it, you know, change it. And also, what are the chances of Becky Lynch winning from Rhea Ripley whenever she lost from Nia Jax? Can we think logically here? I don't think that we should strip the title from Rhea Ripley, but I think the match that is the man versus the nightmare, but I think the match that is the man versus the brutality, but I think the match which is the man versus the eradicator. I, I cannot come up for a good name for Rhea Ripley. I, I, hmm. But anyway, uh, I think the match will be 
1000%. You know, another interesting hypothesis will be if Charlotte Flair actually comes for a triple threat match, you know, because <laughs> Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey was a match that was set for WrestleMania kind of situation. And Becky Lynch came in into that match and won it all. And it's going to be funny if Charlotte Flair now comes in and be like, I want to be in that match, you know? It's going to be really, actually, really main event type of match if we have Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Rhea Ripley in one ring. It's going to be better than that match a few years ago with Ronda Rousey. And, of course, it's not going to be one of the main events because we have that set match, we have that Roman match, we are having that Bailey match, and even though it's not going to be labeled as a main event, it's completely going to put shadow on the Bailey's moment, which I think she totally deserves after all the packages. I think she totally deserves everything to be on the top now. I think she deserves to win the title, to be the leader of the division, and I believe that at some point Sasha Banks should come back and face Bailey. but I don't know. Anyway, I started talking too much, yapping too much about nonsense. All I want to say that Nia Jax is in tough position right now. And I really hope this Monday, IK tonight, to see something different for her and to see what's going to happen in her future. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you next time. Peace.